today. And this is should be super straightforward. There's three rules. Don't let the fact it looks a bit weird put you off. Um, hope the video is useful and comment and leave anything, questions that you have in the comments. Let's look at thirds. Essentially, thirds is super easy. There's only three rules. Thirds are just square root numbers. So if you have the square root of AB, you can split it out into A times B. In exactly the same way, if you have root A divided by root B, you can put the whole thing over each other. And the really important thing is root A times root A is A. So root 2 times root 2 is 2. Root 3066 times root 3066 is 3066. Now, the other thing is, you need to be able to rationalise. All that means is roots, we hate them on the, on the denominator. So we multiply them out. We use this rule where root A times root A gives us A in order to multiply them up. So let's have a look at these questions. We've got 3 over root 7. We want to get rid of that root 7 on the bottom. So we're going to times top and bottom by root 7. So we get 3 root 7, and then root 7 times root 7, remember, is 7, and that's your final answer. 3 over 7, root 7. Right, let's try another one. This one's very similar. So here you're going to, you've got 5 over root 2, you're going to multiply top and bottom by root 2. So you're going to get 5 root 2 over 2. Okay, now let's try expand and simplify. So we've got 2 plus root 3 squared. So that's the same as 2 plus root 3, 2 plus root 3. Let's do those first. So we get 4 plus 2 root 3 plus another 2 root 3 plus root 3 times root 3, which is 3. So here we've got 7 plus 4 root 3, because we can combine, think of root 3s like x's. We've got 2x plus 2x to give us 4x. Okay, then we've got 2 minus root 3 times 2 minus root 3. So we get 4, and here we've got minus instead of pluses, so we get 4 minus 2 root 3 minus 2 root 3 plus 3 again, because we've got minus and minus to make a plus. So we get 4 minus 4 root 3 plus 3, which is 7 minus 4 root 3. And we want to do this one minus this one. So we get 7 plus 4 root 3 minus 7. And we've got a minus and a minus, which is going to make a plus 4 root 3. These cancel, and your final answer is 8 root 3. We've got minus 6 root 5. And then we've got minus root 5 times root 5, which is 5. Now, you may have noticed straight away that was in the difference of two squares form. So you could have straight away gone to 36 minus 5. So you straight away could have gone to 31. But that's the top. These two cancel. So now we've got 31 over root 31. So we're going to times top and bottom by root 31. That's going to give us 31 over root 31 over 31, which just leaves us with root 31. Okay, next question. So here what we've got is we've got that rule that we had. Did you remember it was root A times root B is root AB? So we can multiply the two of these. So root 10 times root 5 is simply root 50. And now we go, okay, can we simplify that at all? 50 is the same as 2 times 25. And the reason I've chosen that is I know root 25 is exactly 5. So we get 5 root 2. So now we've got root 540. So we do the same thing. We go, okay, do we know what numbers go into 540 that have exact roots? Okay, and if you're not sure... The way to do that is think of what it could be. So if you were to add up the digits, you get 9. So you know 9 is a factor, so we can try that. 
So we could do root 9, and when we divide that, we get root 60, which gives us 3 root 60. And we go, well, we know that 60 goes into 4. So we could keep cancelling down. So that's the same as 3 root 4 root 15. So that's going to give us root 4 is 2. So we get 6 root 15, and now we're in our simplest form. Okay. Here is something a little bit trickier, but don't let something like this scare you. So whenever you've got a fraction in a fraction, you always want to get rid of the thing on the bottom. So we want to get rid of the root 2. So we're going to multiply every single thing by root 2. If we do 1 times root 2, we get root 2. Here we got 1 times root 2, so we get root 2 plus 1. Now we've got thirds on the bottom and they're very annoying. We want to get rid of it. But it's not a third on its own. So we have to use that difference of two squares. So we multiply top and bottom by root 2 minus 1. Because you change the sign. There's a plus here, we make it minus. The reason is, when you do root 2 times root 2, you get 2. Then you've got root 2 times minus 1 to give you minus root 2. But then you've also got plus root 2 minus 1. And if you notice, you've got rid of all the thirds on the bottom. On the top, we've got root 2 times root 2, which gives us 2 minus root 2. And then if we have a look at the bottom, we've got root 2 plus root 2, which cancels. And then 2 minus 1, which is just going to be 1, leaving us with 2 minus root 2, which is what we were trying to get to start with. Okay. Next question. We've got 3 plus root 2 over 5 plus root 8. Now again, we want to get rid of the denominator. So we're going to multiply top and bottom. We're going to change this plus into a minus. And we've got to do the same to the top because we don't want to change anything. Okay, so we get 3 times 5, which is 15, minus 3 root 8. So we've got 3 times root 8, root 2 times 5 to give us 5 root 2, and we've got root 8 times minus root 8, which is minus root 16, which is 4. On the bottom, we're going to have the difference of two squares, so we just do the first and the last. So 25 minus 8. Right, let's simplify that. 25 minus 8 gives us 17, which is what we want. And on the top, we've got 11 minus 3 root 8 plus 5 root 2. And then we compare them. We're like, oh, they've just got root 2. So we think, what can root 8 be? 3 root 8 is the same as 3 root 4 root 2. Root 4 is the same as 2, so we get 6 root 2. So if we do that now, we've got 11 minus 6 lots of root 2 plus 5 lots of root 2. 6 plus 5 gives you minus 1, and we've got our answer. Okay, so there's two more questions here. The work solutions for these are up on the resource site. I want you to make sure you try them and then have a look at the work solutions for these last two questions. They work in exactly the same way. So they're slightly trickier, but have a look at the work solutions, make sure you understand them, put anything in the comments that you might wanna go through.